Do you ever wonder if your smartphone is spying on you? We use our phones all the time, but we might not realize how powerful they are. The modern smartphone is not just slightly more powerful, it's leaps and bounds more advanced than the technology that guided astronauts to the moon. But this power also means we need to be careful because bad people can use our phones to invade our privacy. Imagine this, your private conversations, your confidential meetings, and even the sanctity of your personal space could be at risk of intrusion through the very smartphone you rely on. This isn't just a baseless fear, it's a reality for some. In this video, we're going to expose the startling ease with which cyber criminals could be surveilling you and your loved ones. The thought of an unknown entity sifting through your photos, messages, and sensitive information is more than unsettling. It's a profound violation of privacy. But there's a silver lining. We're not just here to alarm you, we are here to arm you. In a world where the line between privacy and public knowledge is increasingly blurred, Sarah's story stands as a stark reminder of the power wielded by the smartphones we carry. Sarah, an investigative journalist, was always on the alert for the risks tied to unearthing government secrets. She received an encrypted message one night with documents that could shake the very foundations of the powerful elite. Upon opening the files, her phone started to malfunction. It was more than a glitch. A deep dive by a tech expert revealed the truth. Her phone was infected with Pegasus, the notorious spyware built by the Israeli NSO group. This intrusion turned her smartphone into a double agent. Her every message, call, and meeting was potentially being monitored. Sarah's work to expose the truth had put her in the crosshairs, and the very device she depended on for her investigations was now a liability. Sarah's tale is hypothetical, but it mirrors the all-too-real experiences of countless activists, journalists, and dissidents around the world, and it's a stark reminder that our privacy is a fragile thing and that we must be vigilant in protecting it. Many people hold misconceptions about how secure their smartphones really are. These myths can lead people to take unnecessary risks, which can leave their devices and data vulnerable to attack. Sarah's harrowing encounter with spyware shattered her belief that sticking to official app stores for downloads shielded her from threats. A routine download of a well-rated app turned into a nightmare when she discovered it was laced with spyware that had slipped past the app store's defenses. This myth, along with the misconception that additional security software is unnecessary, left Sarah vulnerable to the sophisticated spyware that infiltrated her phone. Even her robust password and cautious app choices were no match for the attackers. Sarah's story also dispels the dangerous myth that only high-profile figures are targets of cyber espionage. As a journalist committed to her work, she was no more important than anyone else. Today, anonymity is a thin veil, and anyone can be a target. So how can you protect yourself in a world full of spies, as Sarah painfully discovered? Sarah's story could have taken a different turn if she had been more vigilant about her mobile security. Here's what she and you can do to stay safe. Firstly, exercise caution with app downloads. Sarah trusted the official app stores, but she didn't dig deeper into the app's origins. Always scrutinize the developer's reputation and sift through reviews meticulously. Remember, even official platforms can house disguised threats. Secondly, a mobile security app might seem redundant until you need one. Such an app on Sarah's phone may well have intercepted the spyware. Opt for a reputable security app. It's like your personal guard dog, always on the lookout for potential intrusions. Updates are not just about new features, they're about sealing security breaches. Had Sarah's phone been up to date, the vulnerability exploited by the spyware might have been patched. Regularly updating your phone's OS and apps is a simple yet effective shield against many known threats. Sarah's downfall was partly due to a phishing scam be skeptical about unsolicited communications. Avoid clicking on links or downloading attachments unless you're absolutely certain of their safety. If in doubt, don't engage. Lastly, bolster your phone's defenses with a robust password combined with two-factor authentication. A complex password would have been Sarah's first line of defense, and two-factor authentication could have been the barrier that kept the hackers at bay. By adopting these measures, 
you'll be far more equipped than Sarah was to face the hidden dangers that lurk online, ensuring that your private life remains just that, private. Hackers don't rest. They're constantly refining their tactics to exploit the security gaps in our mobile devices. Imagine waking up one day to find that all of your personal information has been leaked online. Your photos, your messages, your bank account details, everything is exposed to the world. How did it happen? The truth is, your smartphone might be the weakest link in your privacy chain. You clicked on a malicious link in a text message, you downloaded an infected app from the App Store, you gave out your password to someone you thought you could trust. Whatever the reason, the result is the same. Your life has been turned upside down. Don't be complacent. Your mobile phone is not as secure as you think it is. Take steps today to protect yourself from the latest cyber threats. Sarah's story is a reminder that mobile security is not a joke, but with TOS C3, you don't have to go through it alone. We are the first line of defense for organizations across North America, and we're here to help you protect your devices and data from the latest cyber threats. Contact us today to learn more about our cybersecurity solutions or click the links in the description below.